Hello, this is Minister Paul. I'm in Northern California. Um, I've been on YouTube for quite some time. And um, I think this is video 1033. And the reason why I mention that, and it's uh, May 1st, 2014 at 1220 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The reason why I mention that is because I've received another uh FEMA letter. Now out of all of those over a thousand videos, that's a lot of videos to make, um, some over two hours long, Over out of all of those videos, the number one viewed video on this channel is called, it's right on my main thing as popular upload or whatever. It has over half a million views. It's called FEMA sends me a blue letter and then a red letter, so I call them the New World Order is here. It was over a year ago. This is an update to that. In that video where I call them and legally record it, I mentioned that I'd received a white one that seemed real, what was the word I used? Seemed real formal and had a place for my wife and I to sign. So now a year, year later we've come full circle because I've received another one. And let me just say this, out of, I, I would say approximately 60% of the people, over, of over a half a million people that viewed that video, their number one thought that they expressed, and this is 60% of half a million, was that it was some type of scam, it was insurance company pretending to be FEMA. And so this is a wake-up call, and I'm going to title this, another FEMA letter, a wake-up call, because look what's happened to this world in just one short year. I want, to, uh, I want to defend the fact that I did receive a white letter from FEMA, and I'm just going to blow away any uh, question that it, this letter did not come FEMA. There's been, a, a, first there was a white one, we refuse to sign and throw in the trash. And then they send us like a menacing red one and then a menacing blue one with lightning crashing all over my house. And uh, so I called them and they admitted they sent those letters. And they admitted that the website was FEMA. And they know we have insurance. I've lived here all my life. I'm 50 years old, just turned 50 in March. Um, it's very important to me that you just listen. They know I have insurance. It's not, let me make this very, very clear. It's not mandatory where I live. But it sure seems like everything's becoming mandatory in this new world order, doesn't it? So here's, here's the new letter I've received on April 28th. See if I can get a good shot of that. Take note that it's, uh, give it a second to zoom in. Take note that it's uh, addressed to my wife and I from Washington, D.C., FEMA. And also take note that it has a QR code on it or whatever. Let's go through the contents. It says permit number 537. Just get all the, the, the facts that we can. And it says 537. One day I'll get me a real camera. Um, I'm not going to make this video like five times, so just trust me. It says permit number 537, Baltimore, Maryland. Here are all the contents of the letter. These new codes, these new barcodes and stuff that are everywhere, I don't like them. Um, I'm going to scan that. FEMA, Washington, D.C. Can everybody see that? Acknowledgement of receipt with places to sign. Now, we're going to go over this, okay? First thing I want to do is scan this. And I don't really want this video to run long. And I'm not doing this for video views, honestly. I have over a million views. I have plenty of subscribers. It's not about that. It's that I accepted a calling to be a watchman on the wall to warn the people 
and I'm going to be obedient to that calling. That's all that this is about, is to reach one person and that they would wake up to the new world order and uh, accept Christ as their Savior. Now, I'm not here to force anybody to do that. I'm just here to share my experiences because somebody was polite enough and brave enough to tell me. Now I'm passing it on. Okay, here's the code. So I'm going to scan it. And this is the first time I've ever done this on my, it's a Samsung S4. I don't really like doing this, but. Okay. So now what you find on here is it, the date April 28, 2014. And then it says 19682. I'm not sure what that is. And then it says 8702371. 455 and then it has our name and our address and that um, let me just show you that 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 QVC did pop up personal information I'm not worried if people know my address trust me I'm not worried about much of anything <laughs> I'm just being honest I mean don't show up here on my door like I said in the other video Nothing good can come from that if you're hostile, which I'm not. Amen? Okay, so here's the contents, and I'll end this video. I, I would hope that you'd watch the other one first and realize that the New World Order has put in place a man-made system to slowly euthanize people like you and I. Right now, as I look out north, I, I've seen military planes. I just took out the trash. I saw a military plane. I was in the military and I know what they look like flying very low over my house. Something I've never seen here. I lived in, in this house alone nine years. I've never seen that. And they're on the increase. Hueys, I mean, naval and Coast Guard stuff when we're not even near the coast. And chemtrails that are literally making me sick. I have a prayer request in to like, a thousand people because I'm very sick right now but even in sickness I want to show you this because I think time is really getting short so on the back there's this FEMA content it's called the flood insurance claims handbook now it wants you to sign I'll show you this it's flood insurance claims handbook what to do before a flood what to do after a flood addressing questions etc etc you know a lot of people say oh this is a good thing no no it's not there's nothing good about this so there's that and then there's an envelope a government envelope to send it back with no postage needed right yeah no postage needed and then the initial letter says with this the barcode and government seal and all that. Uh, it says, an additional copy of this form has been provided to keep with the other documents you received. So they sent two sets. And it says, by signing, dating, and returning this document in the pre stamp and closed envelope, you are going to acknowledge that you have received your declaration page, a summary of coverage from your insurance company, uh, which I did not. Uh, we have provided you with the property loss history. Anybody know what a loss run report is when you get insurance? The, the, the insurance company wants to know how many losses you've had. It's called a loss run report. They actually, the government actually sent me a loss run report of my personal insurance here. Personal private insurance. Um, it says no losses on file. I don't know about you, but this is really, oh, you know what, those 870, I think that's my policy number. They even know my policy name. So there's the loss run report. I'm having a problem with the brightness, but maybe it doesn't want to show you this. <laughs> um, there's the loss run report, okay. We'll just go over this quickly. See on the bottom it says no losses on file. That's good enough. Here's this letter they want me to sign. My wife and I to sign and acknowledge um, that I've received everything I'm showing you. Come on now. 
get this close. Hopefully it's under 10 minutes. And then it lists, I'll read it. It says, uh, it, it lists everything that I just showed you. And then it says, um, it says an important note on coverage. While it is up to you to choose the coverage that is right for you, please be aware that you understand that you have the option to put both building and con In other words, it goes through all of these things of trying to sell me additional insurance above and beyond what they already know I have. And basically saying, look, a flood's coming. That's what this whole state of California is saying. A flood's coming. And yet we're in a drought. California is in a drought. Water restrictions begin statewide officially today on 5-1-2014. Now here's the part that bothered me. It says, please sign... Please return the signed acknowledgement of receipt in the business reply envelope enclosed only. Only send this back. You and your wife sign this. We know you're insured. We could care less. We want you to buy more insurance. We're the government. We control you. And you must do what we say. And it says, any documents enclosed in a private or non-business envelope will not be received, recorded, or filed by FEMA. Do you understand that? By FEMA. So let the doubts go away that this is not FEMA. See that? By FEMA, right, right over here. There it is. So they want me to sign this, consider, you know, let them scare me into it. Buy an extra insurance, show me that I, you know, that they know who I am and who my insurance is and all this, and, and even send me a claims handbook in advance so I can make a claim, which I've never had to do. And, uh, you know, my plan is to get out of this state anyway, but the problem is FEMA is nationwide. Okay, so let me put all this back, and then I just want to ask anybody willing to watch this video a question. And some people say, why are you making this video? Why are you so concerned? This is some of the questions I get. You know, the government is a business, and, and uh, they own all the insurance. Okay, I, that's fine. I, I agree to all that. But how many people on here, and just... Tell me your story, because that's not what I'm getting on the other video that has over half a million views. Tell me if you've received not one, not two, not three, but four letters from FEMA warning you of a flood, even after you've called them and told them you have insurance, and they send you saying, yeah, we know you have insurance. Here's your insurance holder and policy number. We want you to buy more, and we want you to sign this stuff. And, and acknowledge it only in our government envelope. How many people have gotten four of these that live in a non-flood area um, where it, flood insurance is not mandatory? We have it as uh, responsible homeowners, but it's we don't have to have it here yet. Can you just tell me that you get uh, two of these Three of these a year from FEMA. And you better understand. Let me read. That's what I was going to do. I'm going to close with just one scripture. Because they're trying to instill fear in us. In Matthew 10, 28. And I'll be brief and hit. And the Bible records. Do not be afraid of those who kill the body. You know, with their uh, guillotines and stuff like that. That they bought in the FEMA death camps and all this that we know exists. Do not be afraid of them, the Bible says. It says, rather, be afraid of the one, capital O, who can destroy both soul and body in hell. So, FEMA, if you're watching, I don't fear you. Government, if you're watching, I don't fear you. I have a higher calling. Amen? And that's the one I'll fear. Everybody just wake up and uh, like and share this as led. That we are living in it. It's getting worse and worse. We're trying to pump fear in us, but we're not to fear.